last time. Smell the toe. The great oh, hello. sniffer. The big toe of Morgan Sam. Damn lizard can't keep his mouth shut about the tunnel. My people own these lands. We're the rightful rulers of the reach. Are you a historian? I am indeed. Where did you study? You probably wouldn't have heard of it. She's like, I went to college. You wouldn't know it, and there's no record of it. And also, don't check in on it. Welcome to the Knights of the Silver Rose. Shagrath. Who's that? I knew some people took over the Dwemer runes, but I didn't know it would be a cult. Okay. Here, take this. It's for the great service you just did for Hester's Nest. Let me accompany you outside. Fighter invasion. Let's just walk outside casually, and I get a quest that's like spider invasion. Looks cool. Hey, welcome back to Hester's Nest. As you can see, I have fully committed to light armor now. I legendary heavy armor. I also picked up the custom skills framework for Pugilist, which means unarmed. I have some questions about the Reach. Then I'll owe me to answer them fire away. Tell me about Markarth. A little known fact, but did you know that back in the first era, Markarth was known as the Dwemer Stronghold of Vincenzel? It was only after the disappearance of the Dwemer in the first era of 700 and the subsequent bread inhabitation that it became a Markarth. I can tell you, the Dwemer origins really show in the architecture. I just wish they would let me back in so I could see it again. Literally anyone who's ever been there knows that stuff. You're not allowed in Markarth. No, mostly due to a misunderstanding that I'd rather not get into here. Let's just say that I met with some rather high-ranking officials who disagreed with the way I conduct my research. Kalsalma's a weirdo. Do I even want to know what she did? Who are the Forsworn? I don't actually know. The guild's archives are a quarter century out of date, and you'll want to talk to Gorlach about this stuff. He's my campmate and a Forsworn fighter. I'm sure he'll help he answers all of my questions. I know they emerged after Ulfric Stormcloak's seizure of Markarth in 4th era, 176, following King Midanech's abdication. Their people have been fighting for the return of their land ever since. What is the Reach? Actually, it is a territory inhabited by magic-wielding Daedra worshipping savages, otherwise known as the Reachmen. They are described as primitive folk, trouble aggressive and culturally stunted, a far cry from their Nordic and Breton peers. The people of the Forsworn, they do worship the Daedra, Malakath, Molagbal, Namura, but they are not savages, not to me anyway. You seem troubled. I suppose, honestly, it's my first time away from the guild. I don't really know what to make of everything. I'm walking over hills and through valleys and talking to people I've heard all about, but there's so much left uncaptured by words. Who knows, maybe one day, when we're dead and gone, there will be somebody out there wondering who we really were. So don't be a stranger, okay? Honestly, I feel like anybody would know most of that stuff, and Tissel was just kind of quizzing her to make sure she's a real historian. Ooh, somebody else has got elemental bolt here. Whoa, taking a lot of damage. There's the spellcaster. Come on, stop trying to outrange me. Got him. <laughs> Am I just that invisible? Like, 
he was five feet away from me. He didn't see me until I unstealth because I thought they were friendly. Whoopsie. Bye. The equivalent of Fusroda for her since she doesn't have shouts. She's an Imperial non Dragonborn. That's really disappointing. If that connected to Hammerfell or something, that would be cool. I mean, maybe I could just come in here and do a patch to make it connect to Great Calib Nocturnal. At this point, I'm pretty much just running around everywhere. I haven't been and beating everybody up. This valley is filled with bandits and Forsworn who are not friendly. And to me, it makes sense that this valley that's generally ungoverned by anybody would be a hiding place for these guys who just stream into Skyrim and um, High Rock, and etc. The chest tied to a rope. That's kind of cool. And just so happens she's one of the people who cannot fly. A challenge. Do you know if there is any house for sale around here? I do have a cabin available. I'll hand you the key for only 2,500 septums. Sure, that's not even a lot. Sure, I'll take it. Well, it is yours now. Yeah, I mean, she's got like 100,000 in the bank. It's not like being an Imperial General pays that well, but she's also an adventurer on the side. Not really gotten a chance to do that much lately. Well, with all the wars, but now with General Calais and like, I'm thinking they're gonna hire some new generals. She can... Be free to do things. What do you want? Oh, I'm so sorry. I always shout. Where do you come from? What? Why would you care? Nobody cares, so why should you? I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. It's just so hard sometimes, you know? Just two robots talking to each other. Once again, VA Synth, for him, adds to his charm because he's like, Oh, I hate you. Oh, sorry for yelling. What do you mean? Oh, it's just so hard without mum and dad. Nobody cares. Nobody listens to me. Everybody hates me here, you know? Everybody. What a downer. I don't hear you. You don't. You don't. That's wonderful, the friend. We'll go out and shop and make friendship bracelets with the fudge hen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm too full on. My friends always leave because I'm too clingy, whatever that means. Are you sure you want to be my friend? Imagine an orc blacksmith being like, let's go make friendship bracelet. Yes, of course. <laughs> she sounds you so will, sarcastic. Really? This truly is my lucky day. I finally have a friend. This quest line is one where I learned that they are just trying to outdo each other in sarcasm, being friends ironically. So friend, what are we gonna do? Well, we're going to do all sorts of things. I'm going to make us friendship bracelets from good strong steel. As long as you wear it, we'll be best friends forever. But until then, I thought we could go and pick some wildflowers. I've always wanted to do that with a friend. <laughs> this is supposed to be funny, and it is. That sounds wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad. Would you like to go now? Yes. Okay, I have to get some things. I'll meet you underneath Madinja. What might have been funnier, I'm pretty sure they're playing this straight, but if they... He just, like, stood me up a bunch of times. He's like, oh, no, we're still friends. Oh, that's the place I found that hanging chest while I was just walking around. I'll just fast travel there. Even her facial expression looks like she's constantly sarcastic and just done with this. Why are you so aggressive? Aggressive? What do you mean, aggressive? I'll show you aggressive. I will show you aggressive. 
Here he is. His name is Aggressive. He's a puppy. Yes, I guess I am aggressive. Mum said it's the way I was brought up. Mum. Yes, Mum and Dad Hawks have parents too. They weren't my real parents, obviously. I never knew my real dad. My mum said it was something about getting milk, but I don't really care. Anyways, mum had a hard time bringing up Kalkshach and Nagshach and me to not be a burden I left. A pair in Orsinium took me in, they tried to help me be less angry, real mum used to say anger was part of being an orc. They said people could change, but look at me, I can't control my anger, maybe anger is part of being an orc. I like that he's got aspirations. Not all orcs are angry. What? How dare you? There, I go again. Maybe you're right. Oh well, thanks for the chat. It's beautiful here. Yes it is. It's my favorite place in the whole world except for mum and dad's house. I miss them. That must be really hard. It is, and it doesn't help with my anger. One day I want to go back there and live with them. I know there'll be a job for a blacksmith in Morrowind. People always want a smith. Let's pick some well flowers. Yes, good idea. How about you get five dandelion flowers, three lavender sprigs, and three blue mountain flowers, and I'll get the rest. Make sure to get the prettiest ones. Programmer strat is just to run through it full speed and pick everything. Uh, this is so fun. Tell me about your weapons. My weapons? Who gave you the right to question my weapons? Uh, I'm sorry, where do I put my face in? Anyways, I make all sorts of weapons and armor, although the Orsish ones are my finest. Also, I have a forge and other blacksmithing tools. You can use them if you'll forgive me for being so mean. I forgive you. Oh, thank you. That was a close one. I've got the plans here. Oh, wonderful. Let's go back to Histra's nest. Come by in the morning and I'll give you the bracelet. Make it quick. Are you selling anything? Not just Are you selling what anything? Do you have for sale. I am afraid not, but I am working on it. What do you mean? What is this place? Forsworn Findings was a bit of an inn, until it closed down. There's not enough visitors to maintain the kitchen open. Somehow I guess this isn't the only reason for closing this inn. You are right, it's not the only reason. I was supposed to receive some ingredients a while ago. But the courier never arrived in Histra's nest. I believe something happened to him, probably the Spriggans. There are quite a few do. on the road to Histra's nest. Do you want me to look into it? If you're so kindly asking to do it, why would I say no? More to do in Hestra's nest, thank you. Also, he doesn't care if I blatantly take his stuff. I'll take that. These boys playing that game where you try and stab between your fingers and somebody lost. Oh boy, a quest. I'm gonna quest the quest out of this quest. Oh boy, cabbage. Yeah, he's making us friendship bracelets. Yeah, you'd have to look at the voice credits. I don't know. I know there's a lot of voice actors that do a lot of these. Oot. Oot. Oh, hello there. 
I need magic power now. He doesn't have any deliveries. Damien's voice is a professional voice actor. Not a good move on my part. I really didn't need to do that though. This is actually a storage, a storage place. They're going to attack us. So I was right. The, the courier was indeed cults. killed by Spriggins. Thank I didn't find help. anything else I guess for you. I owe you one. It is a pity that you have to close down your inn like that. It is, but there's not much I can do. So I have to find out what to do with this place. What do you think about opening a shop? The trading outpost is already struggling to survive. I am not sure how I could do better than Kara. Until next time. Maybe they could go into business too. I don't know. I do want to go talk to that dark elf though. There is a quest that's related to her. I guess I'm just going to run there because that seems to be the only thing I've got to do. What happened here? We were captured by the Forsworn. I don't want to die. All right, just oh, follow me. You. I'll bring I'm you right to a safe you. place. Yes? We should be safer here. Where do we go now? We have nothing left to survive out there. Not even enough to buy a room in an inn. What are we gonna do? It's okay, take your time. Thank Calm you. down. I don't Let's know try and see if we can you. find you a shelter for the night. At the end. Either the end or that random building that used to be an end. You, I need your help. You know the huh. girl, Analia. She's demonstrated an interest in my ways, and I think it's time to take the first step. I wish for her to partake in an ancient ritual of the reach. Everything's happening at once. How can I help? You will gather three things for me to perform the ritual a child's doll, a ham and heart, and a potato. After that, we begin the more complicated Potato. process of acquiring a ceremonial Reachman headdress, but we'll worry about that later. For now, the doll heart and potato will do. I'll return with a doll heart and potato. And soon the ritual will be underway. Okay, I guess May it's not you that guy, but I'm glad I came in the here. Is there any good day? Yeah, here we go. I think that instead of an inn, you could open a shelter. What do you think? What? A shelter? Hi. Hey, Lil, stop making your phrases so long. I saved these two people. Dot dot dot. XVA synth does not, cannot keep the up with this. The inn is pretty much already full, anyways. I guess I can host them for a while. Well, I suppose they don't really have the Fine. choice, anyways. Then we have come to an agreement. Welcome home. There you go. You have a place to sleep now. Thank you for finding us a shelter. Take this. It's the only thing I managed to salvage from the Forsworn. I'll probably stay here a bit before heading to Hammerfell. Speak. You know, you probably could have probably could have sold those things to pay for a night at the end, but you did manage to get it for free because of my meddling. So well played. And now to perform a daedric ritual with a potato. I am already carrying a human heart, apparently. Pretty sure this stuff is just at her house. 
Oh, yep. Bam. Got any potatoes? Oh. Potato. Funny is that's not natively in there because I, I have a mod among my... Uh, I'm at 1,050 mods now. One that adds random objects that make sense, like food, to barrels and crates. All barrels and crates are lootable. I'm just glad that I got the potatoes. Give items. Good, good. I have now everything you have asked for. Potato. Did you see the Del. Forsworn camp in the northeast of the volley? They have what we seek. Go forth, kill them, devour them if you want. Take what is necessary oh, and you. return with the helm of horns. In the meantime, I will put together a small surprise near the village. Oh yes, a great surprise. Well, that's not ominous. I have already cleared these ruins. This dude really loves talking about cannibalism, so uh, I imagine it's going to be related to cannibalism. Bam. That's where you come into Hestra's Nest. And I this is the first thing I did when I came here. Oop. Where are I stole your potatoes? Uh, oh, hello. Well, there she is. I gotta go find the dude who's up on this uh, platform. Patience, there is one piece missing the helm. Uh, there you are, and I see you have the helm. Marvelous, now let us start. Stay if you want to. I prop. Uh, there you are, and I see you have the helm. Marvelous, now let us start. Stay if you want to. Uh, I'm just gonna go grab her. Where, where did this lady go? Ah, uh, what? Some weird stuff is happening right now. Okay, here we go. More importantly, you are stupid. Don't deny it. You cannot read, and therefore cannot hope to hold respect in civilized society. I can. I just. But do not despair, child. Namura will not hold that against you. Eat the heart and be accepted as who you truly are. Anelia, I grant you the honor of first Anelia. Damn it, go. <laughs> Damn it. She ran off, didn't she? There aren't many who'd listen to my teachings. Your accent changed, I thought dude. Anelia was different. She was always so excited to hear about our history. He was so shocked he went through second puberty. Either way, I'm not one for the Lady of Darkness sees all. That was a very confusing couple of minutes. Alright, well I guess that's over. He tried to make her a a cannibal. She ran away. That's pretty much it. Everything happened at once, so I guess I'm just gonna go uh try and do that last dungeon now without getting CTD'd. Oh, wow. It put this, like, right next to this trading post that I'm pretty sure was added by More to Do in Hestra's Nest. Yep. That's one of those mod synergies. There's a lot of mod salad that happens with my load order. One of the creature mods I have spawns, like, imps and goblins outside Riften like a ways, but I also have the southern extension of Riften. It extends Riften. I mean, she doesn't have any weapons equipped. Also, when she punches, there's like little little wind effects. I don't know if you noticed that, but that's from her perks. More bandits. See if there's a million bands in this place. Some of these have just been ridiculous. It's like, hmm, wonder what happened here. This dude got exploded somehow. Eh, it's probably just the wind. Natural occurrence. Everybody gets exploded every now and then. 
Hey, you ever been blasted? <laughs> yeah. Beginner's dungeon, and they have, like, 15 guys all summoning, like, Daedra, like the last one. Burfoot. Oh, I was trying to shoot him through the window. Yeah. Red cloaks. Red cloak is awesome. Okay. Well, I found my my favorite cloak spell now. Stealth explosions. There are like a large amount of guys. I hope they didn't just cage me, because God, I hate that spell. You can't hide from me. I knew I could. I feel like uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of the bandits in Hestra's nest now. She's almost level 60. I can go raid soon. What? Who are you? Uh, I'm sorry, sometimes the red mist just takes me like that. Have you made the bracelets? Yes, I have right here. I hope you like it. It's a symbol of our everlasting friendship. If you wear it for a month, Orsish Legion says that we will be forever bonded in the afterlife. Thanks. I'll always be happy to see you around. I'm looking for some people to join Hestra's nest guards. Are you interested? Of course. That's just stupid. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Make me an offer, and I just might fight at your side. Are you interested? Of course. Are you interested? Of course. I found some fighters willing to protect Hestra's nest. Thank you so much. The town is going to be safer than ever now. Here, a little amount of gold to thank you. This really is a beautiful valley. Would it be better to bring it under a nation? There'd be less bandits hiding out here and plaguing Skyrim and High Rock. Maybe it'd lose some of its charm. I think I'm gonna go and get rid of the bandit and witchman problem here. Destona and the rest will thank me later.